You know, I know we just got the Game Boy Advance games on the Nintendo Switch online service and I was super excited about that, but personally, I'm still holding out for those GameCube games on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, I would just absolutely love to play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door and other GameCube games on the Nintendo Switch. What GameCube games would you guys want? Drop them in the comment section below and tell me. Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to the Robochancho where we take the gaming news format that channels like Spawnwave or Arlo do, add a dash of animation and some cool editing on top to bring you your gaming news, leaks and rumors in a fresh new way. If you're new here and want to be kept up on everything gaming, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoy the video and dislike if not. And have that notification bell on so you know when I upload. In this video, we are going to talk about the new Nintendo Switch update for the Nintendo Switch Online Service Virtual Console and what games were added and what games could still be coming in the future according to Nintendo. Because there are some really fantastic games that Nintendo already revealed for the Game Boy Advance that I really want to see in the next batch. So the Nintendo Switch Online Service is pretty fantastic so far. Not perfect of course, but I think Nintendo has built a great library of games for the Nintendo Switch Online Service for people who want to jump back into some nostalgic, great, and fun Nintendo Switch games like Super Mario 64 from the Nintendo 64 to Pokemon Stadium from the Nintendo 64 as well and even older Nintendo games like from the Super Nintendo era or era not era. Now even though there are some games that are pretty great on the service already Nintendo is already adding more games to the Nintendo Switch online service virtual console and it seems that we have three more and they're pretty great in my personal opinion. So if you haven't heard yet Super Mario Advance, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2 and Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3 are set to hit the Nintendo Switch extremely soon which is pretty exciting and this is what Nintendo Life had to say. Nintendo has announced a new batch of games for the Nintendo Switch online service. The latest additions are part of the expansion tier adding three Super Mario Game Boy Advance titles to the service. The games that are included are Super Mario Advance 2001, Super Mario World Super Mario Advance 2001 and Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3 2002. They'll be arriving next week on May 26th that includes some additional advanced features. Now for Super Mario Advance, this game is the power up version according to Nintendo of the NES Super Mario Bros 2 game. Now when you compare this to the original game, this game does have some additional features like these. You'll have new challenges that you can take on in the game that weren't in the original game and also there are some challenges that feature Yoshi as well. And each one has different kind of abilities like Luigi can jump the highest, Peach can hover and Toad can also grab items faster, faster than Mario. So so there are a couple reasons to play it over the original which is really nice. Now as for Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2, there are some additions as well compared to the original game. So instead of only being able to play as Mario, you can also play as Luigi in this game too so that's a nice little addition as well. And of course there's Yoshi's Island from the Super Nintendo era as well. Now Nintendo has been updating these games pretty great on the Nintendo Switch Online service in my personal opinion. I know there are some problems with it but I think one thing that I've been wondering is when are we going to get some of those games that Nintendo said were coming soon that were revealed at the Nintendo Direct that blew all of our minds away when we got the Game Boy Advance games revealed. And I just want to give out the games that I personally would like to see in the next batch. So in the next batch, I would like to see that Golden Sun edition. I want to play Golden Sun on the Nintendo Switch online service. And not only that, but I want to see the Pokemon trading card game on the service as well. Now, if they're already on there, I might have missed the announcement, but I want to see those on on the Nintendo Switch online service add it on in the next batch if we can. I mean imagine getting Pokemon and also getting Golden Sun. For Game Boy Advance games anyways, I'm still holding out for Conqueror's Bad Fur Day on the Nintendo Switch online service and if people are gonna say oh well that's rated M for Mature and kids are gonna be able to experience that game, Nintendo probably wouldn't want that to happen. They can always have some kind of filter for the Nintendo Switch online service where kids can't play rated M for Mature games and as for the Xbox problem, because Xbox does 
Africa's own Rare, and by uh, extension, they own Conker's Bad Fur Day, which I don't know what Xbox is doing. Why don't we have Conker's Bad Fur Day on the Xbox? Make a new game, Xbox. You're just leaving money on the table. But anyways, that's a rant for some other time. We know that Xbox is okay with Nintendo putting their Nintendo 64 versions on the Nintendo Switch online service because that's what we got with 007. So it's 100% possible. So I'm, I'm still holding out, guys. I'm still holding out. I don't know about you guys. I'm still holding out. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below about the additions to the Nintendo Switch online service. And also, if you reach this part of the video, here is a cookie. Any interaction on this video is going to help it a lot. It's not an eight minute video. So YouTube's probably going to look at it and say, oh, well, this video ain't even long and it's not even getting a lot of ads. It's not making us money. So any likes, dislikes, comments, shares, anything is going to help out the video. And also tell me what Nintendo 64 or GameCube games or Nintendo Switch online service games you want to see added to the Nintendo Switch online service, even if the systems aren't added yet. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. And if not on your way out, make sure you subscribe for more videos and also have that notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel in any other way, there is my Patreon and Twitter account in the pinned comment if you're interested in those. Oh, and also have this donut if you're still sticking around for me rambling. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.